In this tutorial, I will show you how to install ROS2 using WSL2 on Windows. We will first install WSL2, then install the Ubuntu app on Windows, and finally install ROS2 on top of that. Note that WSL2 is a great tool, but maybe still a bit young and experimental, so don't have too big expectations on what you can do. It should work fine for the ROS2 installation, but maybe in the future you will have to do some debugging for functionalities that you need for your own ROS2 application. All right, so knowing that, let's get started. So here on Windows, you can just start a PowerShell. So you just press on the Windows key and you find PowerShell that you can run as an administrator. Okay, you click on yes if you have a pop-up. And then we are in a PowerShell. Let's zoom in a bit. And the first thing to do is to do WSL dash dash install. This will, well, install WSL2 actually. So let's do this. And well, it didn't do anything for me because I've already installed it. Okay, then what you can do, and it's very important, you restart your computer. And after you have restarted your computer, we will need to change a few settings on Windows. So you press again the Windows key and you can search for features and you will find something like this. Turn Windows features on or off. So you can maybe just write this if you don't find it directly. Okay, and I will get to this window. You can go down and you should see something like this virtual machine platform. So you're gonna click here to enable that. And if you have something like that, Windows Hypervisor Platform, you're also going to enable it. Okay, and now just a quick note here, a quick warning about that is if you were using other virtual machines, like VirtualBox, for example, when you turn on those parameters, maybe after that VirtualBox is not gonna work correctly. So make sure that if you want to, so if you have the issue and if you want VirtualBox to work, then make sure that you uncheck those and that you restart the computer. Okay, and on top of those two, make sure also that you have Windows subsystem for Linux that is checked. Okay, that's super, super important. Okay, so Windows subsystem for Linux, virtual machine, and maybe that one if you find it, Windows hypervisor platform. I'm gonna click on OK, and then you wait a bit. And you can see that now you need to restart the computer to install the changes. So let's actually do that. Let's restart the computer now. And back to the desktop. So really make sure that you restart the computer. Okay, that's very important. And now you can also search for the store. So the Microsoft Store here. Let's open the Microsoft Store because that's where we are going to install Ubuntu. And well, if that's the first time you open the Microsoft Store, well, that was the first time for me too. But actually it works quite well. So let's search here for Ubuntu. So you just type Ubuntu and... Okay, you have Ubuntu right here with no version number that should install the latest one. But then you can also see you have, for example, here I have Ubuntu 18, Ubuntu 20 and Ubuntu 22. So I would say uh, install the version that you want, okay? And so here we are going to install ROS2 Humble. So I'm gonna choose 22.04 because, well, actually this uh, default Ubuntu, I think as for the recording time, as I've tested the last time, it will install Ubuntu 20 and not 22. So if you can see directly the version here, you choose uh, that one. So you choose 22 or you choose whatever you want, but take the one with the version number and you just uh, click on get, and that's gonna install Ubuntu 22. All right, and now Ubuntu has been downloaded and you can just click on open, and that's gonna install Ubuntu. Okay, so let's click on okay here, and let's choose a language. Okay, continue. Let's choose uh, username, password, so, I'm just putting a weak password for this tutorial, but okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, and you can click on finish at the end. Great. And now you can see you have a terminal and you are on Ubuntu. And so I have the user head here with the password I've set 
And well, this is just like I was on Ubuntu, but in Windows. So actually let's zoom in a bit. And well, it's recommended to do, of course, a sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade to upgrade the packages. So let's put yes and let's wait a few minutes. Okay, and let's do a sudo apt auto remove just in case. Okay, we can remove stuff that we don't need anymore. Great. And now, well, let's uh, quit this. So we are back to Windows and let's go to the store. And one app that you may find useful is the GWSL. So let's find this. And that's going to be that one. Okay, so that it's going to let you easily, as you can see, run graphical Linux app on Windows 10. Well, Windows 10, 11. And so you can just open this. So you can actually install it. So it's already installed for me. I've installed it before. But you can install it and then if you open it, you can see here, so basically at the bottom right here, you can open a Linux shell, okay? It's gonna open Ubuntu again, and you can open apps. Okay, um, so you have different apps that you can open once you install them in uh, Ubuntu. Okay, when you install JWSL, you may have a pop-up to ask you to allow the access. So then you click on yes, of course, otherwise it's not gonna work. And now, well, Ubuntu is installed on WSL2, so that should be enough. And what we're gonna do now is to install ROS2. Okay, and for this tutorial, I'm going to install ROS2 Humble because we are on Ubuntu 22.04 here, you can see here. So the version of ROS2 that corresponds to this Ubuntu version, as you can see here, is ROS2 Humble. Okay, so let's go to the installation page of ROS2 Humble, and then in binary packages, you can choose Debian packages, and I'm going to show you the steps to follow to install ROS2. So first, we will need to check for the locale. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay, so we will need to check for the locale. If you see, UTF-8, as you can see here, we don't need to do anything else. If you don't see UTF-8, then make sure you run this line and then this one, that one, and that one. So you run the four different commands one by one. And if you want to copy and paste, well, here you are copying from a web browser on Windows to a Ubuntu on WSL. So if you want to copy and paste, you can easily do, so you select the text, you copy the text, and then you go, you click, to select to have the focus on this window and you do right click with your mouse and this is going to paste the line okay so you run those four commands only if you don't see utf8 and then you can go down and we will need to set up the sources so to set up the sources we will add the ubuntu universe repository and you just well you just run all of the lines here one by one so you copy and then you click here and you right click Okay, so this one was already installed. You add the universe repository, so copy, and then select, right click. You press enter here. Then we are going to install curl, so you can just also run this command. And then that one. And then we can add the repository to your sources list. Okay, so now we have set up the sources and we can go to the next step and we can do a clear here maybe. And then we need to update the packages. So let's do a sudo apt update. All right, so now you can see, so before we had uh, stuff with ubuntu.com, now we also have packages.ros.org. Okay, so if you see this, you have the new sources for ROS2. And let's do a sudo apt upgrade to make sure that we have everything upgraded. Okay, that's very important. Now we can install ROS2. So here you can choose to install just the bare bones. Okay, you will not have any graphical uh, tools, just the bare minimum so you can run a ROS2 application but we can also install the desktop. So we have the 2D and 3D simulation tools. 
more uh, demos, okay, tutorials, and also debugging tools like RQT Graph, etc. So let's install this one. So sudo apt install browse-humble. Okay, so every package is gonna start like this, and then here we are going to install desktop. All right, and that's quite a lot of stuff to install, as you can see. So we need to download 800 megabytes and install more than three gigabytes of space. Okay, so make sure that, of course, you have enough space on uh, Windows, because this is going to be added to the Ubuntu app that you have installed. So make sure you have enough space. So I'm gonna put yes, and then let's wait for the installation to be done. Okay, great. Now ROS2 is installed. And the last step I'm gonna do here in this tutorial is to actually set up the environment. Because as for now, you can't just run ROS2, you need to actually source a script, okay, a setup.bash script where you have installed ROS2 so that you can use it. And so basically you will need to run that script every time you open a new session. So what you can do instead is to add it to your bash RC, which is a file that's gonna be executed with bash commands every time you open a terminal. So we can do echo with, so let's copy this and let's put it there. Okay, echo, you put this line with double quotes and then two angle brackets. Okay, make sure you have two and not just one in so, tilde slash dot bash rc and you can use the auto completion as you can see here to make sure you have the right file okay and so now if i source the bash rc which means that for example i have opened a new terminal i can use ros2 command okay you can see i can press tab and i have the auto completion for ros2 all right and congratulations you have successfully installed ros2 with wsl2 on windows thank you for watching now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also check out my online courses if you like what I teach, links in the description. And see you in the next one.